the Jesus that you preach about, I know him. I love him. Tell me something. You believe he's to return, don't you? I do too. You expect him, don't you? I do too. Tell me something. If somebody that you haven't seen in a long time, one of your schoolmates, that time does something to them, is finally coming to see you in Nashville, All right. and they get your number, yes, sir. and they call you. Yes. <laughs> Say, well, I'll be at the Union Station. All right. Well, what will you be wearing? Mm. Describe yourself to me so I won't run up to the wrong person. (laughs) Say, well, if Jesus is coming again, and he is, how you going to recognize him when he comes? What does he look like? See, you got that image in your mind that Michelangelo painted. And Michelangelo painted Jesus in his image as a figment of his imagination. But what does he look like? If you expect him, tell me who you're looking for. You say he's coming in the clouds. Well, there are clouds all over the planet. It ain't just raining in America. You can't have rain without clouds. Go ahead. Clouds are forming in Australia, clouds in Europe, clouds in Africa, clouds in the island of the Pacific. If he's coming in the clouds, where? See, you really don't know what the hell you're talking about. here to placate you in your ignorance of a man that white folk taught you about. And you ought to know that any man that won't treat you right, do you think he's going to teach you right? Well, at least you got a black one up there. for a black Jesus and the world don't like him don't like Jesus oh I know what you think think the world loved him wait wait a minute if the world love you as a preacher of Jesus you don't belong to Jesus because Jesus said They won't hear you because they didn't hear me. He said they're going to persecute you like they persecuted me. So in his sermon on the mount, he gave you the B attitude. An attitude is an orientation of mind. And the B in front of it means you got to stay perpetually in that orientation of mind. In the present tense, in the past tense, in the future tense, your B never changes. Keep this attitude. That when men shall revile you and persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for so did they the prophets that were before you. 
and great is your reward in heaven. For over 12 years, the press has beaten me like no other black man in the history of America. What have I done? I don't rob nobody. I haven't killed nobody. Never been arrested in my life. Most I ever did was speed. And I apologize for that. Paid my fine and got my license back. What do you hate me for? All right. Listen up. See, Listen up. you don't like me, but is it justified? All right. You say I'm anti-Semitic. What is anti-Semitism? Anti-Semitism is an illogical hatred yeah. of a people because of their faith. I'm not an illogical person. Go ahead. And I don't hate Jewish people. All right. No. Bring it up, teach. There are many black Jews. There are many Sephardic or Semitic Jews. And there are European Jews. And they are Asiatic Jews. Yeah. When you say that I am anti-Semitic, yeah. that means that I speak, I live, and I act against the natural rights, needs, and interests talk, talk. of the Semitic people. If I am that, then I should be condemned. He's a hater. That's what he is. <laughs> he hates white people. That's his problem. Well, wait a minute, white folks. Wait just a minute. Just a minute. Now. I'm speaking to the white people. Listen. If I hated you, let me ask you a question. Is it justified? Now look, wait, 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 wait. Wait just a minute now. See, some of you don't like your mother. Because you feel your mother did you wrong. Some of you don't even speak to your father. Because your father hadn't been good to you. Some of you fell out with your preacher. Because you felt your preacher didn't do this or that that you expected him to do. Some of you fell out with your teacher. Some of you fell out with your best friend. And if I ask you why, you come up with a laundry list to justify your behavior. But your best friend, your mother, or your father, your sister, or your brother, or the man or woman down the street never brought you out of Africa. Come on, minister. Come on. Bring it. A free people. Yes, yes. Never took you across the Atlantic Ocean in the holes of ships. Never robbed you. Of your name, your language, your culture, your religion, your God, your history, your mind. Then turn you inside out, upside down. And turn you into a chattel, subhuman person. Your, your mom and daddy didn't do that to you. But you can forgive them. 
but you haven't forgiven mama. Listen up, listen up, listen. You haven't forgiven daddy. Listen. You won't even go to your sister or your brother to see if what is wrong and what you can make right. But white folks, you done forgot all about what happened. And what is still happening. I said, no, I don't hate white people. But if I did, what the hell do you have to say about it? If I did. But you're supposed to love everybody. Shut up! I gotta talk to foolish people today. God created you in his image. He is the example. Not you. Not me. He is the example. I ask you. What caused God to destroy the wicked in the days of Noah? Talk, 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 talk. Was it love? What did they do that angered him, provoked him to wrath, since vengeance is his? And he's a just God? Yes, he is. The Bible say, because the imagination of the hearts of the people was continuously to do evil. Good. He killed them all. Yes, sir. Killed them all. In the Holy Quran, he tells Noah, get in the ark. The Bible said it's Say one of Noah's sons wouldn't obey the father. Wouldn't come in the ark. He said, I'm not coming. Say, where are you going? I betake myself to the mountain. He felt that a high mountain would be a refuge for him. Not the ark that God had caused his father to build on dry land while they mocked him and scorned him. Yeah. They didn't know that water was coming. Yeah. And the water would reach the top of the mountains. They, did, they didn't understand. So when he said, go on in and close the door. The Quran said Noah prayed for his son. And Allah told him, I know best That's right. who is your son. Teach me. Teach me. That he is not your son. He is the embodiment of evil. And if you ask me about him one more time, I'll drown you with the wicked. Yes, In other words, there's a time you can pray for the redemption of a lost soul. Yes, but there come a time when God brings down his judgment. Damn it, you better get in the ark or you die with your mother, die with your father, die with your friend. Now, do you know what time it is? As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. The people were partying. They were dancing. They were learning the new dance. They were just bumping and grinding. They had forgot. And the rain came down. Well, they didn't make it. Didn't, they didn't pay it no attention. It just another cloudy day. 
But when the clouds kept forming and kept on forming and kept on forming and the rain kept on falling, then they remembered Noah had preached for 150 years. But when God said, come in, shut up. Don't warn them no more. I'm going to kill them all. See, y'all play with God. But God is tired of your foolishness. And white folks, let me tell you something. You can tell and call me whatever you want. I am your last chance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you can take it or leave it. Yes, You'll never get another one. When my voice stops, death yes, will take you out. You don't have no power against the God I serve. I want you to understand that you can't harm me. I am not here to hurt you. But to help you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. White and black. Yes. Your days are numbered. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The handwriting is already on the wall, Reverend. Yes, and it's written in blood. This kingdom has been weighed in the balance. Cowardly, weak preachers. Yes. Who know the gospel but are afraid to preach it because they're going to anger the rulers of the world. To hell with the rulers. God is on scene today. 